The Eastern Eagles, on the other hand, always open against a Power 5 school, and they've made a living out of taking those games down to the wire, even winning a few times. So opening at Texas Tech, not really a big deal. Our newest member of the KXY4 sports team, Alyssa Charleston, has more from Cheney. The Eastern Eagles are excited to start their season in hopes to get back to a national championship, but a tough first step as they head down to Lubbock, Texas this week to play a high-scoring Texas Tech Red Raiders team. And in the past, these play-up games have not been too much of a problem for the Eastern Eagles. That intimidation factor, not in their vocabulary. They're excited to get this one started. You know, we always talk about kind of the, the last season never carries over to the new season, but track record is and history shows we've had some success in these games, whether it be points or wins or a combination of both. And so um, it won't necessarily help the guys that haven't been here, uh, but but those guys that have played in those games, we're going to play a brand of Eastern football that we always play. Of course it does. I mean, uh, any game we're going into, we're expecting to come out with a win. Uh, that's how we prepare doesn't matter who our opponent is we're expecting to go in there and compete and play our best play eagle football and uh, come out with a w it gives you confidence but i wouldn't say that it necessarily comes from that we just know that we're good and we're going to go out there and perform so that's where we get our confidence from we get it from uh, being in practice with our teammates and all that stuff and the preparation this year not much different than last year against washington state they'll be going up against almost the exact same offense and a much weaker defense in texas tech we'll see if they can knock off another major fbs opponent this year in cheney for kxoy for sports. I'm Alyssa Charleston. Thank you, Alyssa. Welcome to our team. The Eags and the Red Raiders hook horns Saturday afternoon. You can listen live on 700 ESPN 105.3 FM.